they, then they made the singular the the singular medium and uh, you know everything was to be in singular yes. one moment can i interrupt my mother is getting confused now uh, between her life and my life Sita Gunatilaka, age? Oh, nine, almost 90. Well, I'm, I was a teacher. I have two children and one grandchild. When she was 18, 87, she fell chasing the cat, uh, trying to catch the cat and prevent the cat from climbing a tree. So there was some confusion developing. Uh, now when I look back, I think there were other incidents also. After she uh, was diagnosed, uh, immediately of course I had to, to uh, attend to the issue of, of her arm in a plaster and that itself uh, created certain constraints. But then after that I had to, to reorient how we live, what she did to deal with this issue of Alzheimer's. Well, I forget silly things, you know, like um, by dinner time I forget what I've eaten for breakfast. But other things I remember. I mean, I remember my school life and my university life and that sort of thing. And even what I read much earlier, I remember rather than the things I would read in the newspapers today, for instance. With, with, uh people who have this condition, organization is key uh, and, and the occupational therapist also told me that uh, and, and you have to be pretty time bound and, and uh, disciplined and uh, you, you can't have chaos because even in terms of clothes the, the occupational therapist said don't have too much out, just have three, three of each. Uh, so, so yes, so, so in that sense, I think it was a very big change for her. She, she loves clothes and she had a huge collection. I mean, she, she just accumulated over the years. But, and, and various other things also she accumulated. But I had to clear all that out. Well, I like to go out, I like to travel. That sort of thing. And that way I'm sort of uh, constricted quite a lot. I've been traveling really quite on my own because my children were abroad by then in universities abroad and uh, during the holidays when they came, came to England usually, well I joined them there. I used to visit my former friends both here and there wherever they were, you know, I used to do that on my own. So that was all, that was all cut out. You know, I always had to go with someone. There is a, a, a carer, she, she actually works in a hospital as an orderly. She, depending on her roster, she comes twice a week. Uh, when she comes, it's, it's really very good and she's trained. She, uh, she, is very uh, gentle and she's also very professional and she's very clean because that is the other thing with with carers you know there's there's a sort of double burden they may take the physical work off you and you can kind of escape the mental work of caring yourself well i like coming here because i like the activities we do there are lots of activities the games the dancing the exercise the people are all friendly and it's very pleasant. So in that way, it's very good, excellent in fact. Uh, since she has been able to come here three days a week, she's been having a far more active social life than she did a few years before she fell and was diagnosed. And 
all her life she has been independent and and has resisted that sort of uh, management so so there was a lot of uh, i would say conflict and resistance and that was quite a, a difficult period for both of us but in the situation i had to kind of impose uh in impose certain structures and certain ways of doing things so i'm still trying to think uh, you know how i can manage it as a country we are not prepared for for most people being old and and how how we can keep them as independent as possible Thank you.